Well, tonight there are new efforts underway to get ballots to inmates behind bars. Tonight we're getting answers on why some say more people in jail should vote and what law enforcement's now doing to accommodate those outreach efforts. Voting is the cornerstone of what democracy is. Rhonda Rios Kravitz with the Sacramento Voter Coalition is trying to get more people to vote in a very specific place, the Sacramento County Jail. Most people that are incarcerated can vote. However, they don't know that they can vote. A state law passed in 2016 allows many people in county jails to vote by mail behind bars. Almost 70% in the jail are there pretrial, which means they have not been convicted. If you're there for a misdemeanor, you can vote. If you're there on probation, you can vote. If you're on parole, you can vote. The Sheriff's Department says it has a coordinator who helps inmates that want to vote. We're staying compliant with the law, and with that includes outreach, includes access to ballots, includes uh, access to voter information. But just a small fraction of people in the Sacramento County Jail actually cast a ballot. Numbers for the last five years show only 177 people voted. Those numbers are shocking when you know that there's something like 3,700 people in the jail at a time. The Voter Coalition now wants to work with the jail to increase inmate voting awareness and remove any barriers. We think we're doing a good job with that. Again, there's always rooms to improve. Outreach supporters say the effort is not an attempt by any political party to sway an election. We work nonpartisan, so for us it is not an issue of being a Democrat or a Republican. And supporters say voting actually helps reduce recidivism rates and prepares inmates to re-enter society once they're released. Voting really gives people an opportunity to be civically engaged, to be part of the community, and to be involved. So a bill is currently pending in the state legislature, allowing polling places to be set up inside of jails. It's supported by several social justice groups, but faces opposition from some county leaders who say it creates logistical challenges.